Fantastiki. Uh huh. So now I know that um, you know, with going on to the scientific sense and all this rest, where does religion fit into all this? I mean, because I'm sure you practice a certain aspect of religion, and there's so many of us South Asians, Indians, Muslim people that follow their religion. How do you convey this message to them in the sense of religion? Yeah, the you're right. The religion mm -hmm. and science mm -hmm. are kind of two islands of their own. Right. So where do you bridge that gap? Yeah, the, that's where the key is that actually that, does, that gap does not exist. It's our uh -huh. lack of knowledge and lack of understanding. Uh -huh. And that's where the hidden factor comes in. <laughs> what is the hidden factor uh -huh. which builds the bridge between the two islands of science and religion? Right. Because religion is based on... Uh, it's more story based, mm -hmm. it's more uh, less scientific basis, mm -hmm. uh, it's based on faith, you believe in it, thou shall do this, here mm -hmm. are the number of commandments, mm -hmm. or you got to wear this and not wear this or do mm -hmm. this and not do this. And it's very hard for a common person, mm -hmm. especially if he's rational, mm -hmm. to just buy that on its face value. Right. And so that's why you see an erosion of religion mm -hmm. or faith in it mm -hmm. and uh, frankly if they don't serve prashad mm -hmm. or langar you know <laughs> you will see how right. many people go, go right. to those places right you know? exactly uh, but science on the other hand mm -hmm. also has its own limitations mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because science is purely materialistic right and uh, it's, it says there's does not exist which is if there is non matter that does mm -hmm. not exist right so what we, I had to do, I looked very hard into what is the hidden factor mm -hmm. behind science. Mm -hmm. First, I, I was convinced that scientific uh, approach is a better approach because mm -hmm. that's the only approach which will convince the ABCDs and, right. and the so-called logical okay. generation. Uh -huh. So I adopted that approach because uh -huh. I didn't feel that the other approach will work. Right. So I started building on that. and looking harder and harder into science itself, mm -hmm. I found that I looked into what paradoxes they have. Mm -hmm. So, and then I started looking into what paradoxes the religion has mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, just nominal questions mm -hmm. like what is God, what is reality, mm -hmm. what is purpose of life, what is meaning of life, and things like that. And on science side, they have their own paradoxes and dilemmas. Mm -hmm. uh, what is, uh, why is universe expanding, where it came from, where it's going to go, uh, what is dark matter, dark energy, some sort of parallel questions. You see mm -hmm. there are parallel questions on mm -hmm. two sides. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you look deeper, so what, that's what I started looking into, mm -hmm. that how do we answer, is there a common answer which, uh, which answers both the questions mm -hmm. on both sides? Right. And that would be the bridge. Mm -hmm. And that would be the hidden factor. Right. And because Einstein said that very clearly that there mm -hmm. is a hidden factor behind these theories Right. That's what leads to these paradoxes, and he tried all his life to get into that. Right. So now, can you give us an example? Like I know that you were talking earlier about, um, you know, certain religions, like maybe, uh, for example, the Sikh religion, Guru Nanak Ji, mm -hmm. he'd explain something. Yeah, like give you an example which really s struck me in the very beginning of this thinking process, uh -huh. or the, when I started digging into it. Right. Uh, for example. Einstein's theory is based on space and time. Mm -hmm. Einstein very simply says that if you move at speed of light, the space and time uh, dilate to zero, means mm -hmm. uh, the distances vanish mm -hmm. and the clock stops. Right. Okay. Now, Guru Nanak said something similar. Mm -hmm. He says, Uski Trishna Puk Submite Johar Naam Thiyave. Mm -hmm. So, Har Naam Thiyave is the enlightenment mm -hmm. or moving your thoughts at speed of light, whatever you say. <laughs> right. It's, there's, right. A, there's an ana analogy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Trishna book, Trishna is your mm -hmm. desire, mm -hmm. which is the distance between you and where you want to get to, right. which is space. Okay. And any suffering in that process is the time, because mm -hmm. it takes time to get there. Right. Time so you see work. that parallelism. Mm -hmm. So when I see this parallel similarities, mm -hmm. so there are several examples I can give you mm -hmm. where one by one, mm -hmm. all the scientific concepts, mm -hmm. they have similarity with the religion, mm -hmm. although they're talking in their own language. Right. 
And so what I try to do is try to find those commonalities mm -hmm. and put that in a sort of mathematical form, mm -hmm. more rigorous form, so it's black and white, not gray. <laughs> right. So that it's hard but not soft. Mm -hmm. Because I used to go and listen to many of the lectures and, you know, religious lectures. Right. And a lot of right. people would come and uh, a lot of very well-known people. Right. I always came back with a question, where is the science in it? Mm -hmm. So this is where the hidden factor came into. In